Warning, this is going to be more of a relaxed video. If you didn't see the last video like this, we went ahead and got 100% in all of Mon's stat according to the interactive map. And today, the goal is to do the same thing, hopefully for all of Leeway, with the exception of the chasm. At the end, I will let you know exactly how long all of this took because obviously I'm recording it, so I'll be able to tell. But I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit all of this into one video. Just as a reminder, the map you see in the top left on my screen is the interactive map, not the in-game map. And the way that we go about doing this is we visit every single location on this map that has a chest, a waypoint, a vista point, like literally everything. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to see what chests you have or have not gotten without first walking to them. Like this stash back here I somehow never got. Now, unlike in the last video, there's gonna be a lot more we have not gotten yet on this account. And in case it's not obvious, this is indeed my main. With the exception of Sumeru, Leeway is my least explored region. So I'm just gonna take you along on the journey of hopefully 100%ing all of it today. And when I say today, I, I don't really mean just today for me, I mean today for the video. There is no universe I do all of this in one sitting. Plus, just between you and me, I, uh, I kind of haven't filed my taxes yet, so I'm going to have to take a couple days to do that. And unfortunately, yes, it probably will take a couple of days. Oh, and after that last video of doing Monstat, I actually had to go back in the live stream because I had forgotten to mark the Vista points and one... What, what was the other thing? Oh, books. Yeah, books. Book locations and Vista points. I didn't get in Monstat, so I went back in the live stream and I got those. So other than maybe an occasional quest here or there that we will eventually get to, Monstat should now be completely finished. Oh, and you know, it'd probably be a good idea to get the treasure compass for a Liyue. Wait a second. I just realized I'm using my default run around the world team. That's fine, but I do want to kind of mix it up a little bit for each video so at least I get to use different characters. Not really going to affect the listening experience. Don't even bother asking why I'm picking this team. It, it, uh, yeah, this is such a whack team. Let me just quickly throw some random weapons on everyone. And now we'll just hope that we don't have to fight much. Otherwise, Amber's gonna have to put in some work here, of which she really doesn't seem capable of. Now we are gonna swap Lumine over to be Geo because we're just gonna need her while we explore. I might have to rethink this team a little bit because we do no damage. Amber, I know your talents are level one, but like... You should be doing a little bit of damage. Well, you know what? On the bright side, when I swap back to Dia, she's going to feel like she's doing an insane amount in comparison. So Amber, you actually have a good use now. You make Dia not feel as bad. How stupid would it be to just level up Amber's normal attack a little bit? Not that I would ever actually do that, of course. Oh, Wait, that's probably why she's struggling. She's only level 60. Kind of forgot about that. I'm sure it'll be fine. So maybe we need to make a pit stop by a crafting table to see if we can craft up the stuff to ascend her. You guys think when we get to... Fo Wait, is Fontaine Hydroland or is that somewhere else? Well, whichever region is Hydroland, do you think when we get there and we have the Hydro Traveler, are they going to be a healer? I don't know if they would necessarily do that, but I could also see them doing it. It's so weird to think that someday we're going to have a cryo traveler so i guess the real question is what do you think we're gonna get first cryo traveler or cryo catalyst i'm not sure if i'm crazy blind both or neither but i feel like the interactive map has changed because normally there's a category for mini puzzles which there's usually one here and there's not but then also if we look at the map right in this area and then we go back to the game i just burn the roots around this chest so it counts as a buried chest but it doesn't show on the interactive map and buried chests are no longer an option the interactive map is literally missing categories right now so that makes this very hard to do yeah i don't know what to do now because i'm gonna be missing so many chests and all the mini puzzles like why is the interactive map have to break today of all days wait a second they don't even have the floating slime stuff anymore what did they do to the interactive map we're gonna have to put this on pause because they're missing a lot of this stuff how did they even manage to do that i gotta say 
I think I'm actually impressed. The fact that someone went in doing, I don't know, maybe just updating stuff and deleted a bunch of the categories off of the map entirely. I feel like that would be very hard to do by accident. Oh, would you look at that? Another buried chest that doesn't appear on the interactive map. Very cool. No, oh, wait, hey, hey, hey. You mean to tell me that they don't even have time trials on here anymore? Again? I must ask, how did they manage to do this? Okay, big old pause time, because I definitely do not want to have to go through all of this region twice, so uh, hopefully they fix this soon. I'm going to message some other people and see if they can see this stuff on the map, and if they can, then maybe it's just a problem on my end. You're still hoping for a resolution soon, because I kind of need to start recording this. Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to tell you that the map is working again. Now, this wasn't here last night, but this morning, when I went in to try it, I refreshed the page and this little button popped up where you click that and then you could see all the stuff that used to just be here. Now, I still don't know why they did this, but at least we can start making some progress. And it seems like now on the interactive map, they changed it so time trials don't show up as a time trial symbol anymore. They just show up as a chest. But at this point, I'm kind of sick of asking why, so I'm just gonna accept it, I guess. It is what it is. Okay, chests like this are the ones that I would just never find. Like, look at this. There's, there's a digging spot here. But who would actually find that? And now cue all the comments saying, I found that. Well, you know what? I never would have. So if you found that without using an interactive map, honestly, I commend you. Remind me again why I picked these characters for my team. If they were fully built and everything, then, you know, it'd be fine. But the fact that they're so low level and they're not built kind of makes it a little hard to deal with enemies. With that being said, though, I still don't want to change it. Maybe I will later. But for now, I'll at least let these characters get some fresh air. Hey, 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 what's going on with the shadows here? Why does it look like Amber's just floating? Oh, would you look at that? Another chest in the middle of nowhere that you have to dig up. Now that we have the map fully marked out with everything, I am kind of realizing just how long this is going to take. That's why it really sucks that I wasn't able to record much at all yesterday. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Right now, I really want to go watch some anime, but especially since I wasn't able to record yesterday, I really need to not do that right now. Need to do quite a bit of work before I can do some pl play. Can, can I consider anime to be play? Also, it's kind of ironic that my quote unquote work is playing Genshin. It's more like I have to play before I play play, though that just sounds even weirder. Is it weird that I'm running my Amber on a Shiminawa set? I, it wasn't really intentional, but I just kind of gave her the stuff that Yoimiya was using. And since I still don't have a good pyro damage goblet on this account, she just has attack percent, so I slapped the rust on her as well. Ooh, also, also, I learned this recently, which uh, a lot of you probably already knew. But if you look at the time trial things, they have different symbols on top of them that show you what kind of challenge it's going to be. Like this one is kind of a target shape, so you know that when you activate it, you're gonna have to shoot some barrels. Then there's one with an hourglass that is going to be your like time trial one where you have to run through hoops or collect orbs. Then there's also the attacking one where you have to kill a bunch of enemies and I kind of forget what that one looks like, but I never even realized that they had different symbols. You know, on top of the already primo gems and whatever else we get out of these chests, we also get the se seals. Are they called seals? It's been so long. Or, no, no, sigils, right? Yeah, we get sigils, which we can then trade in for Mora. So I'm also just making a decent amount of money while doing this. It is definitely not the fastest method for making money, but it works. And since I'm already doing this, I just get it for free. Though doing this always does make me feel a little bad about myself because I realize how many things I've just walked blindly past. I don't even know how many times. Okay. <laughs> This one, I should have found at some point. That's actually crazy that I never found this one. I don't think they could have made that any more obvious. When I did this on my Asia server account, I only unlocked the statues of the seven of the area I was going to 100%. That way I was never really overwhelmed by the size of the map. But here, 
I already have everything unlocked. So there's no barriers of, oh, I don't have to do this part yet. I could just come back when I unlock the statue later. And what makes it hard is I keep accidentally wandering too far where I'm in another zone. And then I start exploring that spot. And then I get to another zone. I start exploring that spot. So I'm like not finishing any one spot right now. I know it's possible that you guys could cheat with this, but I mean, there's really no reason to because there's no reward if you're right. But feel free to go down in the comments and write your prediction of how many hours it's going to take me to actually 100% all of Liyue. Then at the end of the video, you can see how close you were. I'm going to place my bets at like, uh, I want to say eight hours, but I don't know if that's too much or maybe it's not even enough. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and say eight hours. We are actually going to take a quick little detour over to the blacksmith because the geo treasure compass would come in very 10, 10 of the golden. Oh, that's just, oh, I don't like that. That is so much, but so be it. It should come in pretty handy. So we are definitely going to be using it. Now, luckily for us, we have already done Zhongli's story quests on this account because if we hadn't, this area would be locked and there's, I think, three or four chests down here. I must also say this team very much struggles to fight anything. This is the second time I had a character die from not really challenging enemies. So it's time we swap up the team again. We'll see if Yoimiya can help us out a little bit more. And then I also took Fischl out, swapped her for Noelle since we're not running a healer and Geo is just good to have in this region. Plus Noelle synergizes nicely with, okay, never mind. What I was going to say was she synergizes nicely with Yoimiya because then we could just spam normal attacks and not really have to worry about getting hit. See, when it comes to exploring, Exploring, at least in the earlier regions, you definitely want a pyro bow user because there are a lot of torches or just monuments and things that you need to light. Plus, having a bow user is pretty much necessary for those challenges where you need to shoot the exploding barrels. Then having Kazuha is just so nice because once you have a Kazuha for traveling and stuff because he reduces stamina and he's just Kazuha, you really don't want to take him off the team. Then Lumine pretty much has to be here because she's Geo and we need the constructs to actually complete a lot of this stuff in Liyue. So while I'd really love to run a weird team, there is some restrictions of what I'm able to do. My Noel honestly does way more damage than I would have expected expected her to do. I literally just have her on triple defense percent and one of them's not even leveled up. I mean, that's great to see. I always love it when a character does more damage than I was expecting. Oh, that's right. I did get C6 Noel not that long ago, although it's probably longer than I'm thinking. That means I would like to try a DPS build on her someday. So what if we did try to build a little bit of a DPS Noel right now? I swapped her off of the white blind and put her on the serpent spine instead, and then tried to swap some of the defense away for crit and a geo damage bonus. Only downside is we basically have no energy recharge, so I don't know if we'll be able to get our burst back. Let's go ahead and test it out against these guys. Not hitting as high of a damage as I was hoping. Oh, 30,000. That's not bad. I mean, we killed it and we still have the burst active. Okay, there it goes. But we didn't get our burst back, so we will definitely need some ER. Don't ask why I'm trying to build a DPS Noel at the same time as exploring when it's just going to make it take even longer but i swapped around some artifacts to get her on a two-piece severed fates so now she's at about 126 percent er again it's not ideal but it's better than 106 still doesn't seem like nearly enough to keep her burst up though well i guess we're just gonna be relying on yoimiya for the damage then i think my favorite exploration -y puzzle thing that you have to do is the floating animo slimes there's no time limit there's no real pressure at all you just pop them into the air and then you shoot him with a bow. I don't know why. I just like those the most. Well, I regret to inform you that I would like to change my estimate. I think eight hours is way too little. I guess I don't really regret to inform you. I more so regret to inform myself. I feel like it might be more in the ballpark of 10 to 11 hours. Oh, I was just over here fighting these enemies. I was like, geez, there's a lot of these guys. I just realized it's a daily commission. I wasn't even paying attention to those. Well, that's fine with me. I get a free daily commission out of this. All right, here's one thing that some of you might not know about. Over here on the map, if you come into the water, there's a hydro monument here. I'm curious if I can activate it like this and then just a little 
No, okay. Hey, Nilu, can you do this? If we just send one of those waves towards it, I think it'll work. Yes. Okay, very nice. I mean, I think the way you're supposed to do it is by bridging out with ice and then just activating it with the hydro character. But I have a Nilu, so I might as well use her. See, once I do this for Sumeru, it's going to be both worse and better. Worse because there's probably going to be a lot more I haven't gotten. Plus, I'm going to have to do all of the quest lines like Aranara to actually get all the chests. But better because I pretty much haven't gotten almost everything over there. So instead of just trying to find what I have or haven't gotten, I'll pretty much know that I haven't gotten any of this stuff. Ooh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I get to do another one of these. I didn't think I had already done that many of the little floating slime puzzle things. Not really a puzzle, but you know what I mean. Yet most of them do seem to be done. So it's always nice when I find one that isn't. I still don't know why they changed all of the symbols on the interactive map to just be chests. For instance, Dandy here, it used to show her face on the icon so you knew that it was one of her things. Now it just shows a precious chest on the map. I feel like it was so much better before. I also don't know how much I have or have not done these, so I'm hoping I get a chest out of this. I have no interest in beating my high score. All I want are chests. Oh, I heard one. We got... Oh, calm. I haven't done this at all. Okay, gotta do it two more times then. And there we go. We now get our big boy chest. And it's one of only, I think, three locations that she shows up. I think it is break time for me. That was just about three hours of exploring and we have this section done. But we still have all of this. Hence why I think it's going to be a lot more than eight hours. Because this area, this is the worst area in all of Liyue. There's just so much here. And there's so many different elevations that it's all at. But we made a decent little dent. I think next we want to tackle this area and then down to the Wangshu Inn. That way we have most of this top section done. So for you, I'll be back in a second. For me, I, I don't know, maybe a few hours. And we are back. Been a little bit more than a couple hours. It is an entire new day. But new day, same objective. Oh boy, it looks like it's dandy time. I think I have done this one on this account. I don't know how many times though. Hopefully I'm not doing this for no reason. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, looks like I get to do it again. Okay, this time I'm not going to push forward because otherwise you miss all of the boosts that send you into the sky. Now, do I get a chest? from this or did I just waste my time? I just wasted my time. Always love to hear that. Though I guess to be fair, I'm playing a game and I'm trying to 100% the map where you don't even get anything for 100%ing the map and I'm spending many hours of my time to do it. So arguably, I'm already wasting my time. Oh boy. It's time for another installment of who the heck would have found this chest. On this episode, we burn the leaves. And oh, would you look at that? There's a chest. Who the heck would have found that chest? That concludes this episode of who the heck would have found that chest. Tune in next week to potentially see more chests that you never would have found. It's already time for another installment of who the heck would have found that chest. And on this episode, it's this one. This is what I was saying in the last episode, though. Like, Monstat, you don't have too many things like this. Maybe one or two at most. In Liyue, it, there's just three of them right in this area. What is the range of this Geo Treasure Compass? Because I swear, sometimes it seems pretty short, and other times, it, it's a long distance. From right here, it pointed towards the island where there is a chest, but that seems very far. I hate when the interactive map does this. It's okay. It's going to be extremely tight. You know what? I'll just make it full screen so you can actually see what I'm talking about. So if you look at where this chest is on the map, right? It's right. It's on this like a little island next to the water. That's cool. Berry chest. There actually is a berry chest here, but you look at the picture. I was just trying to find this landscape. It doesn't exist because look at the map in their picture. They're like over here. Actually, no, they're, they're like over here. I hate when their pictures don't actually match the location and unfortunately it does happen a lot more than i'd like though to be fair the other interactive map i think has it even worse that one sometimes has locations marked that don't even have chests so you'll be looking forever to try and find them you guys remember how i was saying that the little animal floating things are my favorite 
right, well, I think if I had to pick a least favorite, it would be the Sealies. And I think that's because a lot of the time you're trying to explore and then you find one. And if you want to actually complete that Sealy, you have to go pretty far away from where you want to be. That and it can be a little boring to just follow a Sealy around. But I'm sure there's someone watching who actually prefers the Sealy to anything else. After all, that is how preference works. Uh, I see I don't want to have to climb this thing. But there is a chance that there's a luxurious chest up there that I never claimed. And that uncertainty will bother me very much if I just say I probably got it. So it's time for a little bit of a hike. And by hike, it's more of a climb because I don't know if there's a proper way to get up here. I've already done the quest line that's, I believe it's called Chi of Yore. And that's when you do the whole treasure collection and then you go fight the big things in the cave that we were in. A very annoying quest to do if you're early game because that thing is actually hard to beat. So I know I got one of the big, ch I think it was a precious chest that was up here where it spawns when you complete the puzzle but oh look at that look at that right there there is just a luxurious chest sitting here unclaimed 10 free primo gems so if any of you have just completed this quest line and didn't explore up here ever again just know that there's a chest there waiting for you oh hold on is that do i have a key for that thing i don't Oh, wow. Okay, there is an unclaimed shrine of the depth here. Well, uh, that's, uh, that's kind of embarrassing. What do you even have to do to get the rest of the keys? I thought I would have already done that. Is there a domain that I haven't completed? No, I have done all them. Maybe there's a quest line that I haven't done? I, I don't know. I'm sure someone in the comments can inform me of what one weird thing that you still have to do that I might not have done is to get the last key if I don't already look it up before then. Oh, wait, I'm gonna have to do that because that counts towards completion. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I found it. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to do that quest line. Oh, yeah, and I, I saw, I think it was Twitter from the official Genshin account. They posted that there's new areas being released soon. I am so far behind with everything in this game. You'd think I wouldn't be because I literally make videos as a job, but somehow I still haven't even completed Scaramouche's thing on this account. The main story quest of Sumeru. It's okay. We're making small steps towards it. We are finally completing Liyue, you know, like what? To almost two years after its release. Oh, fun story about this chest. I remember I found this when I, you know, I made this account. I was still kind of newer to the game at the time, and I could not for the life of me figure out what you were supposed to do to unlock it. I thought it was glitched or there was a quest you had to do, when literally all it was is that. You put down a geo construct and it just opens. So even though it might not seem like it, I am getting smarter in this game. Wait a minute. I think I just learned something new. Oh, you see... There's this, there's this little like flashing white arrow that appears over the enemy's head sometimes. And I think that that shows which enemy you're going to target. Uh, okay. You know what? I, I take everything I just said back. I am still so stupid when it comes to this game. How did I never realize that? Well, if I've never seen that, I'm not even surprised I've missed so many of these chests because that's there every time you attack an enemy. Finally, I found another one of the animal floating slime thing. Uh, not really slime floating, whatever these are. These are my favorite. Please tell me I've at least done this on this account. Yes, okay, good. At least I've done that. I don't understand why the interactive map feels the need to mark animo pinwheels that just boost you in the air but don't give you a chest. It's not like they have anything to complete. It just makes me second guess if I'm missing something. Oh, this is the island that I just came to in the recent co-op video that went up. I remember because it's exactly where the Scaramouche flew across while I had to swim. I find it kind of funny how I always get comments saying to make more co-op videos and then I make a co-op video and barely anyone watches it. Okay, maybe not barely anyone, but about less than half of the normal viewers. How do I keep doing all these sealies backwards? As I'm going through, I always find the spot where they're supposed to end up before I find the sealie and then I just have to backtrack. I'm, I don't know why. I am just so good at doing things either the wrong way or the way that makes them way more difficult. It's like a talent and it's not a good talent to have. Again, maybe that's why I don't like the sealie ones? Wait... What? I'm switching over to map perspective once again. Okay, you see this. You see this exquisite chest 
I am in this exact location, they show a pressure plate there. But in my game, there is no pressure plate here. Did they change this at some point? Did there used to be pressure plates and they took them out? That's weird. I haven't seen that before. And there's also this umbrella one. If you run around in these umbrellas for a while, a bunch of slimes start spawning. And I think I've already done this one. But once you kill all the slimes, and you might still have to keep running around because sometimes they don't spawn for quite a while, you will get a chest. But like I said... I think I've already done it, so I will not be getting a chest here. I think I actually showed that one on a live stream because I found it after doing 100% on the Asia server account, and some people had their mind blown from that. Well, maybe not their mind blown, but they were like, I need to get on immediately and get that chest. Kind of random, but I mean, this whole video was kind of random. I am looking forward to a lot of new games that are going to be coming out. For example, I'm going to try Star Rail. I... I'll probably make a video on this channel for it. I think it's the 26th of this month that it comes out. If something tells me that if I make a video, it won't perform that well, but you know, we'll, we'll try it. Make the typical first impressions of a Genshin or Genshin Impact player plays Honkai Star Rail for the first time. You know, those kinds of titles. Oh no, Dandy's back. There's nothing dandy about doing your missions. But then also, I think there's, was it Wuthering Heights or what? Wuthering Waves, Wuthering something, Gray, May, Gray, something, Wuthering somethings. You would think I would at least know the name of it if I'm looking forward to playing it. Although that one I haven't actually seen all that much for i've just seen a little bit of gameplay footage and from what i've seen it looks good or at least it looks like it's worth checking out and then the one that i'm really waiting for that i, I don't know when it's going to be released is blue protocol i follow their official twitter account but everything they post is in japanese and they're just doing like beta tests well maybe not even beta just network tests so the way that i judge whether or not it's actually something worth translating is i look at the likes and if the likes are above a thousand then i know that i should translate it to see what it says. If the likes are not above a thousand, then I know it's just some little update that's not really relevant. But I think sometime this year or maybe next year is when they might be releasing. I don't know if it's going to be a global release at the same time as the Asia servers. Be kind of nice if it was, but who knows? Now, all of those, I wouldn't, I, I don't know. I would say it's kind of competition-ish for Genshin, but not really because they're very different styles. I guess just other games in the anime aesthetic I, that's pretty much the only thing they have in common. I think it'll actually be a pretty nice change of pace to get an anime styled MMO. Because Genshin, it's really, it, it's massive, yes. It technically is online, but the multiplayer, it just, you, you don't have it. You can play in multiplayer, though personally, I feel like it just makes the game more challenging. Not like in a difficulty aspect of, oh, now enemies are stronger or anything like that. Just in the sense that if you want to do something like complete a quest or do a daily commission, you might not be able to simply because you're in co-op. That's why I'm both hopeful and cautiously optimistic for when Blue Protocol comes out. I don't like getting my hopes up for a game because most of the time it ends up being disappointing. But if you set your expectations really low, then you can't be disappointed. And if it's good, you're even happier. I gotta be honest. I miss having Raiden on the team and Nilu. The two of them are just so fun to use. But we're gonna hold strong and we're gonna keep pushing on with this team. So you mean to tell me that on this account, I have never wandered over to this island and fought off the eye of the storm that spawns. How is this even possible? Oh no. It's another installment of am I just absolutely blind or does this not exist? So if you look at the little interactive map on the top left, they're showing it pretty much where I'm standing. There's a tower in the water with a pressure plate, or at least they say there's a pressure plate. And I, I do remember there being a pressure plate here, I thought, but from looking around that tower does not exist here. I could have sworn there was a pressure plate here though. The only one of those towers that exists in this area is this one, which is very far away from where it's marked on the map. And the little tooltip says, Pressure plate spawn zoom portals up to the waterfall. Oh yeah? You uh, you wanna tell me what pressure plate you're talking about? Okay, I referenced the other interactive map and they said the plate does exist. They showed a picture of it, but if you've already done that 
puzzle or pressure plate, then it disappears, I guess. Kind of a weird mechanic, but hey, if it's gone, that means I did it, which means I don't have to do it right now. Though instead of doing it right now, which would have taken, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 seconds, I spent about five minutes looking for it. I guess at that point, I would have rather had to have done it. I actually wonder how much XP I'm getting from all these chests. Individually, it's not that much, but totaling them all together, it's probably a decent amount. Oh, oh no. Dandy's back again. Oh, that just makes me sad. Oh, it's the first time I've done it too. No, no, I want to collect my stuff. No, I still want to collect my stuff. Stop talking to me. Introverts be like... Oh, that was some cool little tech I just did there. I guess all I really did was press E, but like it looked cool. I hope I'm not mistaken. And if I'm not, that is the last time that we have to deal with Dandy. Thank goodness. This is actually a really pretty area and I feel like we never see it. Okay, I think I'm learning. The treasure compass, while it does have a lot of range, does not seem to do very well when it comes to vertical range. Because from the bottom of this waterfall, it couldn't find the chest that was right up here. Yet earlier, it was able to find a chest that was across the ocean. Okay, I think it is once again break time. Time to go eat food. But would you look at that? The Bishui Plains are at 100% and I haven't even gotten the last shrine of depth yet. De de depths? That's such a hard word to say. Depths, like plural, and emphasizing it to make sure that the mic picks up all the syllables. And if we hop over to the interactive map, we've done a good chunk, I would say maybe a third of the entire region. And then the sections we just did, which is like this cluster over here and then the Wangshu Inn, was about two more hours. Well, exploring the rest of this is a job for future me because present me is hungry. Pizza! That's, uh, that's what I ate when I went to go eat food, except that was also like four days ago. I've already recorded a different video on this account and then a whole other video on sorts only that just needs to be edited now. But for some reason, I was in the mood to just explore. So here we are, back at it again, exploring. And since the last time that we actually recorded anything like this, a new update has come out. I already through all my primos, which wasn't really that many. It was like one or two ten pulls towards Nahida, and I got a C2 Kaching. I also really want Layla Constellations. Got none of those, but I got some Dories, which I will never use. So now I don't know if I want to spend a little bit to try to get a Nahida, because again, I wouldn't mind getting Layla Constellations. Oh, and because I filmed a different video on this account in the meantime, I ended up having to swap around a ton of artifacts, so somehow my Yo Mia is now better than she was last time. I don't understand it, but I'm not going to complain. I was initially planning on this being the next video, and then I realized it was going to take much longer than I thought, so I needed to make a different video in the meantime. Hence why I took a little bit of a break from this one. And right here, we can see something that's kind of rare in the game, and then there's a bunch of hydro monuments. I don't know about in the newer regions, but in the first three regions we got, these weren't something you saw too often. What is happening? right now? Oh, are we good? No, no, we're not good. I can't fly. I'm flying backwards. You want to be like that game? I assume that means this one will bring me up to the top. Hopefully. There we go. You know, when I did this on the HS server, I didn't even use the pinwheel. I just climbed the mountain in time. Once again, I'm pretty impressed that I never actually did this on this account. The funny thing is I always forget where these guys are. I always think that they're down off the edge somewhere. So I've probably just jumped past them and then forgot I never did it on here. I suppose that is one of the downsides of having so many different accounts. Ooh, wait a second. I just realized the interactive map has once again changed how it works. They reverted everything back to the way it was before all the filter stuff came into play. I don't know why they decided to do it in the first place, but I guess they reverted it. It's kind of like Apple products and even Windows updates. Like everything works, it's fine. And then they decided to just go in and change stuff for no reason. And in the end, it just makes it even more complicated. Now, I believe I showed this in a live stream, so I'm not going to get a chest for it. But if you just put any geocon... Okay, never mind. I didn't get it. You put a geoconstruct on top of this thing's head, you get a chest because that makes sense. Oh, I never realized that. Well, obviously I wouldn't realize it. There's a geo monument inside of this house. Can I just do this? Yes, I can. Oh, and one thing I did see in the new update is they made it so while you're diving, you can no longer access the camera. So I'm very curious if this was kind of to fix the glitch of walking on air. I'm really hoping it wasn't. What? Oh, wait a second. 
No, you can't do it anymore. They actually fixed it. That was like my favorite glitch in the whole game. It's okay. I'm sure someone who is much smarter than me will figure out some way to still make it work. Or in a future update, something might get changed or introduced that then makes it available again. Because I think for a while that glitch did exist and then it got patched, but then it kind of came back a little bit different and now it's patched again. It makes me so sad. It was so good for getting screenshots too. Ooh, Rocksteady Treasure Hunter. I think that's what that said. Yes, we have opened 800 chests in leeway so far. Unfortunately, there are still a ton and a half to go. Well, somehow I've already been recording for over an hour and this is the progress we've made. I think I only did this section here. I gotta be honest, I thought that'd be a lot quicker and we're still not even halfway for the whole region. Should I raise my guess to 12 hours? It has been quite a while since we worked on this video. I spent this morning going through and editing the footage that I I already had and that was all mostly recorded a month if not more than a month ago so at this point in time i actually do have a nakida on this account somewhere right right there and i have her weapon and that was thanks to some lucky early pity on the weapon banner now you see the thing is i was away for about a week maybe a week and a half ago or something like that and what's kind of funny is i almost never go on trips for any reason it's usually like maybe once a year and that's just just because it's a family thing, so I'm kind of obligated to go. That's exactly what the last trip was, but the trip I'm going on in, uh, well, I mean, that's what I was trying to say is I'm going on another trip in, I think, about two weeks, actually less than two weeks. I think it's a little closer to about eight days, so no, no, it can't be eight days away. Wait a second, it is, like, I think it's nine days away. Oh gosh, that's so soon. I'm gonna be taking a little trip up to Canada. I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna be doing, but I know it will involve some hiking, and so I'm going to need to schedule videos to go up while I'm gone and I would like this to be one of those videos I, I think maybe or maybe even to go up before I go and then make something else for while I'm gone either way I want to get this video done sometime soon I mean within the next nine days I guess but here is the thing you see everything that you've seen so far you know I had to edit it so I know how long it took and it was about six hours and 20 minutes and then just looking at the map I know you can't see here because it's not the interaction map but basically everything south of uh, th this this sort of area and then this whole area it, we're not even halfway basically is what I'm trying to say and I would venture to say that the hardest part still awaits which means it could be another seven or even eight hours of just exploring so if my goal is to get this video done before I need to leave I really need to enter overdrive exploration mode now don't ask me what that looks like because I have no idea but I need Need to figure that out and i'm the kind of person who can't just sit still and do the same thing for too long without taking a break and this really doesn't allow me to take a break on the bright side editing this video wasn't as bad of a task as i thought it might be obviously i'm not putting too much into the actual editing but just going through the hours upon hours of footage and cutting it down it, it wasn't that bad i do kind of find it funny just how long of a time span this video is going to last over because i'm pretty sure i started recording it in April. And the thing is, I know I could break this down into two or three parts, and that's what some other people do that I've seen doing stuff like this, but I'd rather it all just be shoved into one video. I don't know. I just don't feel like doing, oh, here's leeway part two, here's leeway part three. I just, I just kind of want one part. You don't need parts. It's just here's a leeway. Plus, after cutting down the almost six and a half hours of footage, it was only around a half hour of a video. And I know that for those of you that do like these kinds of videos, you would prefer probably Probably around an hour and at the current rate I think that that's a good estimate of how long this will be maybe a little bit more and as we get primos right now I'm just gonna keep dumping them into the weapon banner because I kind of do want to get the five-star bow for Yoimiya I was just rebuilding her to continue this video and I was like wow she could really use some more crit damage and if I get her bow then that's exactly what she'll get of course being at almost around 10 pity I'm not expecting to get it but it would be kind of nice oh yeah and we have some updates as previously in the video i was talking about things like blue protocol in the honkai star rail release honkai star rail has already released and we made some videos on it but then blue protocol has announced that they're releasing the game in japan i think 
in June of this year, except the Western release is going to be pushed to 2024. That's honestly really disappointing, not just because I want to play the game, but also because I don't like when games stagger their releases. Then when I can finally play, it just feels like I'm playing a game that's already a couple years old. I think a lot of the fun of playing new games is getting to play it when it's new. So maybe I'll try to sneak my way into the Japanese servers, or I guess, no, that, that's really the only idea. I am going to try to get on the Japanese servers. I won't be able to read anything, but I'll figure something out maybe, hopefully. Ooh, and it looks like we can actually take care of this now, which should, I think, give us the last key for the region. I can't say my team is exactly combat ready, but I don't really have a choice. At least the rune guard over there is just leaving. He's not even paying attention to us. Now we just drain this out, and is this where the key is? Or, or no, wait, this one looks more like the key chest, except, except it isn't, and I... Maybe the quest reward. Is it you? Are you the one that gives me the key? No? Oh, yes. Okay, it took a very long time to actually show it. This should have been done a long time ago, but now we can finally open up every shrine in this region. And I mean, like, that really should have been done a long time ago. Whose bright idea was it to put a fire pillar underwater? It, can this even activate it? Oh, good, it can. And the only reason I knew it was a fire pillar was because... What is going on with this plank? It told me on the interactive map that it was a fire pillar. Otherwise, I would have had no idea because I didn't actually see the fire emblem anywhere on that. It's crazy to me that Star Rail has so many features that I want in Genshin, and yet they don't put them in Genshin. So it's like they know that the audience wants them or that players want them and they just refuse to implement them for some reason. Because just for example, if you're playing Honkai Star Rail and your characters are low in HP, you go to any of the waypoints and you're just healed up instantly. Whereas in Genshin, you need to go to a Statue of the Seven and then just camp out in front of it for a good 20 minutes before it recognizes that you want to be healed. Perhaps a slight exaggeration, but I think we can all relate to that feeling. Oh, what? I accidentally just continued Mona's story quest? I was just talking to this dude because I thought he gave me a recipe. I didn't realize I was going to then jump right into a story. Oh, would you look at that. It's another installment of who the heck would have found this chest. And the answer is... Not me. Just a bit of a personal request here. In future regions, can we just we should have it like flat, like no mountains, no underground, no mountains. Sounds very easy to explore. Or just introduce a new feature, kind of like these sigils in Sumeru that makes exploring very easy. Because I've bet I've already gotten the chest that's up here, and I have no way of knowing that unless I climb back up. Yep, I already got it. Once again, we are back to continue our expedition in exploring all of Liyue. And it starts with this rock. Well, that was anticlimactic. You see, I was starting to think I wasn't going to finish this video before I left and I was just going to do other stuff. But then I recorded a video involving the TCG event. And after cutting it down, it was like two days of recording on and off, you know, not two days straight, obviously. I cut that down and it turned into about 10 minutes. And unfortunately, a lot of the I kind of kind of was complaining. And look, I know that I complain a lot and that's fine because I don't want people to think I'm just not saying negative things about the game because, you know, I want to stand Hoyo versus good side or something. But I also don't want my content to just be 100% purely negative all the time. I think it's, it's a little, it was a little too close to that. I may still try and upload it if I can't get enough stuff recorded to go up while I'm gone. But if possible, I would like to finish this video to have this go up instead and then just scrap that one entirely. Honestly, what this video is turning into is just a behind the scenes. Most of the commentary here doesn't even directly have to do with Genshin. I hope you guys don't mind that, but if you're watching this far in, I assume you don't mind. You're probably just using this as some form of background... I was gonna say music. This is definitely not background music. Background noise while you either play Genshin or just work on other stuff, which I don't blame you because I do the same thing. Funnily enough, I would be listening to stuff in the background as I make this video, but then it would be picked up by OBS, so I kinda can't. So instead, I'm just listening to music because that doesn't interfere with my recording at all. I don't know about you guys, but I am kind of looking forward to Fontaine's release. Obviously, I'm cautiously optimistic, and I'm also a little worried because I still haven't completed this Sumeru Archon stuff. Probably should take care of that, huh? Maybe once I get back from this trip and I'm all caught up on videos, I can 
into a live stream where we just try and bang all of that out. I don't know that I would turn it into a video because I feel like not that many people would care to watch it. Especially if I streamed it and then tried to turn it into a video, it would be very random. Oh, I forgot about this boy. We're gonna have to play hide and seek with him, aren't we? I swear I've done this on so many accounts already, but I guess not on my main. Unfortunately, the place he goes to hide is somewhere I just explored and found all the stuff, so it's not a great use of my time. Or at least it's not the most efficient way of doing it. And despite doing this a number of times on different accounts, I actually don't remember all of his hiding places. Although if this is the last one, I'm pretty sure he hides on the side of this house. Okay, it is the last one. And I guess I do kind of remember them. Oh wait, no, that, that definitely was not the last one. Oh wait, I think I know where he is. Pretty sure he's... Wait, what? Why my camera just stopped working? Yeah, okay. No, I do remember them. Oh, no. no, come back. Oh, well, at least he died. But my OCD will not let me go anywhere else until I get his drops. This just seems so wrong. It's an exquisite chest guarded by one Hillichurl. We take that guy out. That's it. One Hillichurl. An exquisite chest. That is wild. In newer regions, you have like three of the ruin graders for a common chest. Granted, the common chests do give out more rewards in the other regions, so it probably balances out, but still, one hillitrill? That's crazy. Is this thing still attacking me from that far away? Chill, it's not that serious, little whopper flower. Now, if I remember correctly, the pinwheel over here is marked on the interactive map, but I don't think it actually does anything. It boosts us into the air, but I, I don't think there's a chest for it. Or, okay, uh, this, oh. You know what? I take back what I said. There kind of is a chest for it. All right, I think it's time that we actually deal with Leeway City. I already found two chests here that I had never found before, so there is bound to be even more. Oh, would you look at that? Already found another one. Now, here's a little fun fact for those of you that don't use the interactive map and you just go around 100%ing the regions. If we head on over to the docks, you can see that there is a big boat here. Now, I think we may have lucked out because if memory serves correct, that is the correct boat. Basically, every day there's a random chance that boats could or could not appear here and there is one boat that shows up that has some chests on it. I think it is this one. Now, I'm not sure if I've already gotten the chests here at any point in time, and it looks like I did. Yeah, it is this boat. I guess I actually did get these at some point, so that was uh, pretty lucky for me. But there's one that spawns right here, and then there is one other one that spawns right here. So if you haven't already done that, keep an eye out on this spot on the docks every day to see if this boat shows up. There are honestly so many chests that I missed here. I thought I might find two or three, but I think I've already found six or seven. This seems like a really good use of my Mora, but sometimes these have achievements with them, so I... Yep, there we go. And I am always willing to trade Mora for Primo Gems. Why does the game seem so incredibly bright right now? Like, I actually have to squint to look at the screen. Is that normal? Why is it so bright? And with this chest, we have found all that there is to find in the city. Time to once again head back to the rest of the region. You guys want to see something that's kind of kind of crazy? You see this rock right here? Yeah, little, little sparkles on it. You stand on sparkles. Oh, they're gone, right? Oh, where'd they go? Oh, they're on top of that thing. You go to the top of this thing, they move again to the top of that thing. And as long as you keep chasing them, at the very end of this, you will get yourself a pretty big chest. Probably because they don't actually expect you to find that. Is it bad that in the last uh, maybe hour and a half, possibly two hours, I've only said one or two things. I just kind of zone out while doing this and forget to talk. Is there some significance to this puzzle? Because I think it's the only time in the game that it appears anywhere. Not that I really mind, of course, because it does give us a big boy chest. With this, the southernmost point of Leeway is now complete. Making good progress, but there's still a lot more to go. I still remember when I came to this exact spot early on when I started playing and I was so scared seeing all these enemies. I was sneaking around the corners trying to take them out one by one. Oh, how things have changed. We are now slowly making our way towards a part of the game that I feel I would never have seen if I didn't try to 100% it. I'll show you guys what I mean once we get there. I mean, I guess this place also kind of counts because it's another spot that you really have no reason to come to. We are almost here and there it is. A lake 
in the middle of nowhere that I never discovered until I tried to 100% the game on a different account. Also, this is the pinwheel that doesn't actually lead to anything. It pushes it to the other side of the lake and there is nothing waiting. Okay, I think we've gone too far. This has to count as Sumeru because that giant animal thing is here. But just looking at the map, I don't really know where the divider is here. If I grab one or two things from Sumeru though, I mean, does that really matter? It'll just be like a little head start for when we do have to go to Sumeru. Okay, yeah, we are 100% in Sumeru territory now. Just keep it a secret between us, okay? No one has to know that we're in Sumeru. I, I don't really know why that needs to be a secret, but it does very very important that that remains secretive if anybody asks i'm collecting geo particles right now not dendro particles that thing looks so intimidating like that the only reason that i'm getting this stuff is because it's kind of on the border between the regions and it might count as sumeru but just looking at the interactive map my ocd will not allow me to leave it oh Wait, wait a second. I just got Rocksteady Adventurer, meaning the chest I just opened is part of Liyue, and it was located right here. So, I mean, I'm just going to pretend that what I'm doing is still part of Liyue. Although, I mean, I don't have to pretend because it literally is, apparently. Oh, the baby boars are here. I forgot about these little guys because you almost never see them. Come here, little guy. Somehow they still drop the same amount of meat as the larger boars. Now we can make our way back to where we're really supposed to be exploring. Now, obviously, with every chest I open, we're getting closer to completing the region. But with this area over here in specific, it's like the most dense with everything. And because of all the different elevations there, it is probably the worst place here. And for some reason, I'm saving it for last. I know I should probably just get it over with so I only have the easier sections. But then, th then there's like common sense involved and I just I can't be bothered for that. You know what really kills the mood a little bit? Thinking about how in, I don't know, X number of years, Hoyoverse will eventually shut down the servers. And then all of these hours upon hours that I've spent trying to 100% the map will be wasted. Although I guess that's the good thing about making a video out of it is technically it's not being wasted because I get a video out of it and then you guys get a video out of it. Why does it look like these guys are about to go on their school field trip? They got all their backpacks on. They're ready to go. Oh, I guess this guy got left behind because his friends are all the way. Oh, they just left. Uh, sorry, dude. Looks like you'll have to find your way without them. Oh, I forgot we still have to do this thing as well. You know what? I have been exploring for probably about three to four hours. I don't know the exact time I would have to check the recording. I think it's time for a food break. And we are back already. So now we just gotta make our way up this tower, solving all of these puzzles. And when it comes to ones like this, I don't know what you're supposed to do. I know there's obviously a way to solve it. But on every account that I've solved it on, I've just shot random torches until it opens. And that is exactly what I plan on doing here. There we go. I have no idea what I did, but it worked, so I don't care. I... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I only put two of these things in, but for some reason it activated it as if I did all three. Three. Yeah, well, if I come in here, this is still not solved. You can even see the thing up there that you're supposed to get. So the game just glitched and it gave me the big reward before I even earned it. Interesting. Yeah, I, I just picked that one up and it disappeared. That is so weird. I am once again a little confused here because if I use the treasure compass, we can see that it, well, a second ago it was pointing this way. But uh, according to the interactive map and what I've claimed, there is nothing this way. I I think the compass might be a little confused and thus so am i oh no i am all too familiar with this ceiling look it's home is right there it's like uh, maybe 15 feet away but if you go and touch this thing where does it go oh straight down yeah that makes sense and then it goes underneath here Where's it go then? Right back up. Time to climb the tree a second time. Once again, I've been quiet for a little while, but we are making good progress. And I think I'm just, it's kind of weird to say, but very focused because I'm trying to make as much progress as possible. I have a lot of videos that I do need to work on. So if I'm able to finish this, then I could start editing it. And then I can also get started on other videos or not even started, just continue. I think we might actually have a situation of we did a pressure plate thing and then the pressure plate actually despawns. Because on the interactive map, it looks like 
it's around this area and it would make sense if it was right here since there's no grass but that thing is definitely not here now <sighs> it may look like nothing has changed but it is in fact the next day and the good thing about today is i'm pretty sure we are going to finish this region okay i want to move this so that you guys can see it but there's a uh, there's a geogranum that we have to do something with and look at the picture that they give me as a point of reference for where this is. It's literally just grass. Somebody did not crop the picture correctly. Luckily, this one is pretty obvious to find. It seems like I have gotten most of the stuff in this area. I'm not sure what would have compelled me to swim around in the water opening up all those little floating crates, but I guess I did at some point. Now, here's the thing about the amber. I'm pretty sure all of them have a chance to spawn a chest when you break them, but it only ever spawns one and it's not guaranteed and then you have to wait for the next day so if any of these have already given me a chest i have no way of knowing oh see this one gave me a chest i guess every few days i'll just have to run around break all the amber and see if i can get any more chests out of them it'd be kind of nice if they just stopped spawning after you got the chest that way you would have a way of knowing when you did get it oh we got another chest oh we are so close now all that is left is the stone forest and then i will never have to 100 leeway again i think it's time to do something that almost nobody in this game has ever done i'm going to use kokomi's burst just so that i can walk on water and there we go look at that we, we made like a, a good chunk of the distance i would have made more if i kept sprinting but i didn't want to fall in the water with no stamina and some people say kokomi's only good for healing oh this is satisfying look at that Ooh, oh we almost broke all of them so close to being very satisfying wait I actually never did that. There's no way that I never claimed this on this account. I almost skipped coming here because I was like, oh, there's no way I haven't done that yet. Which is why I always have to check every single spot to make sure I got everything. And there's a part of me that doesn't even want to take it because it just looks so cool why are beto and kazua here i'm guessing it's part of the tcg event but that is so random please tell me i didn't come all the way out to this island for nothing there's potentially a little crate floating in the water over here and as we can see i came here for nothing oh i guess i never fully finished doing this either i was missing out on a whole precious chest now there are only a couple more spots we need to go oh wait i see sparkles and when you see sparkles you you run away and then you click the other okay it's all just enemies i don't know who the heck buried these things on the beach you don't even get a chest for that oh wait wait more sparkles oh sure i'll do that i oh you know what it probably is it's probably these sparkles and that spark i'm just confused oh there's more sparkles chest yes and what about this one what's that crab okay i th i think we might have gotten everything i still don't really know what this does two places left we gotta visit one of them is the crux and the other one is just a random crate floating in the water unless i already got it so let's go see if we can find a floating crate. This would be a little easier if I had the wave rider here, but oh, there it is. But bringing over the wave rider from Inazuma is like a 20 minute task, I think. Oh, it is so far out here. Yoink. There is one chest that I'm not sure if I've gotten and it's over on the island up here with the rock made out of, no, it's not a rock made out of hearts. It's a heart made out of rocks. Cause you need to be in co-op for that and then get someone to stand in it with you and change the time of the sunset. And I've done it across many accounts I just don't know if this is one of them. So maybe I'll try that out during a live stream or something. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I could just check if I have the achievement. Oh, what? <clears throat> okay, uh, ignore this. I definitely claim this. It's, uh, it's fine. Definitely did not miss that chest. It looks like I haven't actually gotten that achievement in this world. I guess that means we gotta make our way over there and then just hope that someone joins our world. How long do you think I'd have to stand here until somebody joins the world? Well, after 20 minutes, nobody has requested to join the world. I had even gone in and changed my profile to need the heart rock achievement in co-op. Is this better if I add please join? Will people join? Actually, let's 
see what's faster. I'm attempting to update Genshin Impact on my phone. There are 9,000 megabytes it has to download. Will I be able to update the game, log in on a different account, and then join this world before a single person requests to join? Well, it's not looking too good for team co-op. It has been 15 minutes of downloading and it has finally completed. And now the sorts only account is logging into the game. Gosh, this game runs so slow on mobile. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, sword impact. You want to join? Sure. Oh, there we go. It's just that easy. I haven't even actually loaded in on the other game yet. Oh, look. Look, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm controlling both at the same time. That's crazy. All right. Well, that account can go now. And I can't end the co-op session right now because I didn't log out on the other account. I just closed the application. So we're kind of just stuck in limbo. But we have finally done it. Leeway is entirely 100% complete with the exception of the chasm. Now, thematically, it would make a lot of sense to end this video on the crux because the crux is what brought us to Inazuma. So if I'm going to do Inazuma next, then, you know, it just, it makes sense. But almost all of my islands here are already 100%, though they're not like truly 100% because I'm sure I've missed things. So those are just going to be a massive pain to go around and make sure that I have gotten everything. Hey, I finally kicked this out of co-op. But you see, there is one more thing we still need to do. Well, two more things, because we do have one wish and a, and a dream, and our dream doesn't come true. Oh, apparently I also found all three of the nameless treasures, and we can give it to this person. I don't know if I'm supposed to or if there's another option, but I get 40 primos. That wasn't even the NPC I meant to talk to. It was this one, because we can just go ahead and buy out everything. Apparently, I never even got all my constellations for the traveler. Wow, that is, uh, that's, that's kind of interesting. And on top of that, another 480,000 and another 480,000. But that is it. The region is complete. Now, right now, I don't know how long it all took, but I'll put up the time on screen of the hours and maybe minutes that it took me to 100% Leoy. Not sure what will be 100%ing next, but I shall see you all next time.